Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, rampant procrastinator. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Like I, like I was saying, I have been procrastinating today, and so we won't have time to do a proper stream, but I figured I might as well be here to do at least something. A stream is better than no stream, I think. But yes. So, I don't know. I don't like to, to talk too much about myself. I'm a fairly private person, but, but yeah. I'll go over a few things that have, uh... A few things that have affected the stream today and, you know, recently, as well as sort of some, yeah, I guess some internal factors and some external factors is the best way I can think to put it. But yes, so anyway, so mm, let's start with the, the external factors. So yeah, so one thing that I was, that is sort of an issue for me is that I tend not to think much about the stream when I'm not streaming, basically. I don't really plan things out very much, which is a little bit of a problem sometimes, I will admit. But yeah, so I mentioned it a while back. I've never gone over my sort of planned schedule of things in any great detail, I don't think. But I mentioned it a while back that, actually, well, it's fine. I was going to say I should maybe go over the business, but eh. Oh well. I'll get through that at the end. But yes. So, today... Where was I? Yes. So. I have mentioned it before, but I intend to do basically all of the story content in Ark Knights that is available, more or less. But yeah. And, so yeah, so part of that, one of the events that I was planning on doing one of the side stories uh, is the Children of Ursus event, and I was planning on starting that today, but I currently I am planning on rescheduling that, rescheduling that in the sort of order. I've worked out an order in which I wanted to do things, and I decided to look into Children of Ursus a little bit more, largely out of procrastination, but also, you know, to sort of see what the situation is a little bit not going completely blind but uh but yeah given what what i read from the synopsis i do think i want to make a little bit more story progress before we talk too much about it but yes i figured this would be a decent time considering that we had just revisited chair or uh, yeah just started revisiting chernabog but yeah we're going to delay it a little bit i also i think want to even that I know that, from sort of what I've heard, that it's a very dark storyline. You know, Ark Knights is not a game that sort of shies away from, you know, unfortunate the unfortunate realities of war and conflict, and you know, just sort of general human suffering. Uh, but this is a story that is substantially more filled with human suffering than a lot of the other ones, and in particular, it is a one. It is one where a lot of uh, young folks, it is called Children of Ursus after all, they uh, endure a lot more than perhaps they should. So that's the sort of thing that there are a lot of people uncomfortable with, understandably so. So, you know, I feel like it would it'd be doing my due diligence if I made sure that I sort of told people that that was what was coming pretty well in advance rather than just sort of, you know, ending this story chapter, this perfectly normal story chapter, and then immediately going into a, you know, a story, a side story that deals very heavily with themes of, you know, PTSD and all sorts of other things, all sorts of other trauma. So yes, so putting that a little bit behind, I think I might still find a story, a side story that we can do in between chapter 4 and chapter 5, because I do want to stick to that to a certain extent, to my plan, because again, there's a lot of, pardon, there's a lot of side stories to get through, 
and I kind of wanted to intersperse them with the main chapters in as much as I can. But we will see, we will see. I also want to, I also want to cluster events together that are related. So that's another thing that I've sort of been working out, you know, what stories are related to what other stories, what order do we need to see, you know, see sto like main story chapters and then side stories in to have sort of the maximum context going into each one. And maybe that's not strictly necessary, but it's kind of what I wanted to do. Tip. My own sort of creative interpretation of the story, you could call it. But yeah, so again, I want to more heavily signpost Children of Ursus for the troubling subject matter. Um, again, there are parts of the, of the story of it I understand from the synopsis that would probably have more context if we had if we played through a little bit more of the story i don't know if they're strictly a or of the main story i should say but yeah i don't know if they're strictly any spoilers per se given that it takes place before the point that we are in in the main story but there are certainly things that will have more context if we've played the game a little bit more so yes so that is the situation with Children of Ursus. Again, I don't know what I'm going to sub in for it, and I don't know what I'm going to... Yeah. I'm almost certainly going to do something between Chapter 4 and Chapter 5, but we will see. But yes, so that is that. And so yeah, so to talk a little bit about sort of my thoughts is, you know, I'm very much very much a person who you've seen this if you've watched me be playing Arknights for a while. But yeah, I'm very much a person who is a bit of a perfectionist. I like to get things done right the first time and not have to sort of, you know, retry things or settle for suboptimal situations. And, you know, there's something to be said about trying, you know, trying to do as well as you can. But, on the other hand, you know, I can't do perfect every time. Yesterday was a pretty, was a rough day for me, I will admit. I will say that much. I don't want to go into too much detail again. But, but yeah, yesterday was a rough day for me. Today was not so much, but it was still, it's always sort of a struggle for me to get started on days when I'm rescheduling. Because it all already sort of feels like a little bit of a failure on my part, a rescheduled stream, so I sort of get into the, the mindset of, you know, if you can't stream for the amount of time that you would like to, or if you can't stream on the day that you want to, or that you initially plan to, you know, you know, why would you bother? Why just, you know, just do it another day, try again next week. But I don't want to live in that mindset because it sucks. <laughs> if I may be blunt. Um, so yeah. So yeah, so I am streaming today. I am streaming today, and I will not stream for very long, and I will not play the game that I am usually playing here, and I will uh, not apologize, basically. <laughs> because I need to, to practice being okay with not being perfect, and I need to practice just sort of being, just sort of living with things, you know. A little bit of flexibility is what we've been learning, and a little bit of flexibility is what I am trying to implement here. But yes, I don't necessarily want to make this a habit, certainly, but, you know. I don't want to have streams just for the sake of streaming. But yeah, that was definitely a, a thing that I considered as we were getting closer to the time that it is this evening, which is, you know, around the time that I'd usually be wrapping up. But, but yeah, I don't want to stream just for the sake of streaming. But yeah. Especially when, you know, I could, if I really wanted to use that time productively, I could have used that time to do a little bit more sort of planning and things like that. 
And again, that's part of why I was delayed today. Beyond that, I was procrastinating and getting distracted, but... but yes, you know, planning, looking into events and how I want to order them and all that. But yeah, since we are sort of writing this story as we go, more or less. But yeah, so I could use the time that I would stream for other things if I really want to be productive on a day that is not just not necessarily a great day for streaming for whatever reason. Yeah. Again, today is a day where I felt pretty good and is a day that I definitely could have streamed, I think, if I had managed to get in gear a little bit faster. But, you know, it is what it is now. I can't change what has been. I can only I can only make different choices in the future. But yes. So, I do wish that I had or ordered my thoughts a little bit more before getting into this, but I suppose I don't order my thoughts very much in general, so it's not that big of a departure. But yes. So, in short, <clears throat> let's let's summarize. So, on the Arknights front, yeah, Children of Ursus will be delayed until at least next chapter, the end of next chapter, the end of chapter 5. But yes, we will see what we do in the interlude between chapter 4 and chapter 5. Uh, that is as of yet undecided. Yeah, again, I will be reminding folks going forward if, of the subject matter of Children of Ursus before we get into it, because again, I want people to be able to make a informed decision about whether or not they want to hear the story. Again, it has some particularly dark themes as far as the story goes, from what I understand. But yes, then, you know, um, I guess that's pretty much everything that's, like, relevant. <laughs> yeah, the, the rest of it is basically just me, you know, saying I didn't stream yesterday because I wasn't feeling good. And, you know, I don't want to harp on that too much. But yeah, I suppose another thing here, another thing that's worth mentioning, is I do want to do a little bit of Arknight's unrelated content every now and then. But yeah, I'm, you know, I feel, I feel like I need to preface this by saying, you know, that I don't not want to play Arknights. I do want to continue playing Arknights. I'm enjoying the game a lot. I'm enjoying the story. And I don't want anyone to to worry that they're not going to get the Arknights that they desire out of me. But, but yes, I do want to diversify a little bit more. You know, I used to stream at least two different games a week. And that was even, like, three different games a week often if the... Uh, it was a collab week. But yeah. So, basically, you know, one thing that is a bit of an issue for some YouTubers, from what I understand, is that if you, you know, spend a lot of time making videos about a, you know, a particular topic, in this case, games, given that I do video games as my thing, but yes, if you spend a lot of time doing a lot of videos on a single topic, that can be, it can be harmful for your channel uh, as far as the algorithm affects things. This mysterious unknown entity that we are all, uh, <laughs> that we are all forced to do the bidding of. But yes, I don't concern myself with it too much, but I don't want to cause myself too much of a disadvantage. But yes, um, where was I? Right. But yeah, anyway, too much of one thing and the system will expect you to continue making that thing and you won't do as well if you do things other than that thing. And for all that I enjoy Arknights and for all that I expect to continue doing Arknights for a long time and for all that I, can, that I want to do Arknights for a long time, I do also want to do other things. So every now and then, Probably not every week, but every now and then I do want to add on. I don't want to replace the Arknight streams, because again, <laughs> I do need to pick up the pace if we're going to be getting through the story at some point before uh, 
before the end of time. But yes. Um, but yeah, I do want to do some non-Arc Knights things. Presumably, ideally, that will be in the form of adding content on, doing different streams at different points of the week. But yeah, I don't know precisely what that's going to look like at this point, but it is definitely a thing. But yeah, it's a thing that I had considered today, actually. I thought about playing a game, but I couldn't think of a game that would that I'd be able to play in the time that I'd be able to play to any any real satisfaction in the time that is available to me. Again, while I do want to stream, and I do think that a stream that exists and is less than ideal is better than an ideal stream that never happens. Again, I don't want to stream just for the sake of filling air, you know, just for the sake of making sound. If I wanted to just have my stream on for the sake of having my stream on, you know, I could just, I don't know, play, play just sort of a loop of some sounds or something, jangle some keys in front of the microphone, perhaps. But yeah, I want each stream that I do to have some meaning, to have some value to it. And that's why I'm focusing on using this time to talk about sort of my plans for Arknights, my plans for sort of the channel in general. Channels, I guess. There's a Twitch channel and a YouTube channel. Sit. Yeah, I want this to be of some value. I want this to be of some value. I don't want this to just be noise. So, let's see. What was I saying? <laughs> yes, I don't want this to just be noise. I do want this to be something that is worth listening to for its own sake and not, or yeah, worth listening to for the sake of its content and not for the sake of just the fact that it exists. So yeah, again, I don't expect to do a whole lot of streams like this, ideally going forward. I want to continue to do streams that are topical and if they are, you know, update streams, if we do more of those now and then, ideally I would like to have a little bit more to say, a little bit more specifically. But again, this is in part practice for me. <laughs> in part practice for me. So, let's see. So, let's summarize again. Or, I guess, less summary and more just making some sense of what I have said on my own. I often don't think very much about what I say. I like to think that I'm fairly well-spoken, but I don't put a lot of consideration into the actual words that I use and what they mean. It's all very much stream of consciousness. But yes, so, already talked about Arc Knights, already talked about sort of in a little, yeah, in little detail. The, yeah, the lack of a stream yesterday, of the purpose of this stream today, of sort of a little bit of my goals going forward for streaming in general. But yes, I think that should be basically everything that needs to be said. But yeah, so the schedule, I do believe, at the very least, I have no strong reason not to believe that tomorrow will be a collab day. Again, we've struggled to find times that work for both of us, and often things come up. It is what it is, but yes. Tomorrow, I expect there to be a stream around 9 p.m. Very doable. Very doable, that. Often I've been concerned about whether or not I'd be able to uh, make that time on account of working a little bit later. But I suppose there was a good chunk of time when I did regularly make you know, nine o'clock streams despite working later on uh, these days. And, you know, the time that I work late hasn't changed. It's just that I got out of the habit of needing to get ready that quickly. So it's kind of, uh, kind of unfamiliar to me. I don't move with that much haste anymore when I get ready. So I lose some time and end up starting a little bit later than I'd like. But yes, anyway... So yes, tomorrow, 
ideally we should be seeing some more uh ideally we should be seeing some more coffee talk the end of coffee talk for now but yes then um we may or may not be starting the next game depending on how long that takes most likely not assuming that the last day of coffee talk takes a normal amount of time compared to other coffee talk streams but yes the next game that we do after that we will do when we do it basically but yes most likely most likely i will i will be streaming on saturday because i am feeling well i am feeling well i'm feeling a lot better than i did yesterday at the very least and ideally i should be feeling even better going forward but yeah i don't anticipate well i guess nobody ever anticipates feeling bad necessarily but maybe but it's not exactly the sort of thing that you planned for but yes so yes, next week we should be back to the usual, should be streaming on Wednesday and Friday. Again, I will try to every now and then mix in a little bit of non-Arknight stuff in addition to the Arknight stuff. Again, I do want to, well, saying this in the context of next week may be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a mistake because next week I will be having to go out of town again. For the end of the week. I don't... I don't remember precisely if I'm going to be out of town next Saturday, actually. But I will definitely be on Thursday and Friday, so those will not be great days for me to stream. But yeah. If possible, and I will need to double check on that, I will need to d discuss how long I need to be away, but... Yeah, if possible, I would stream on Saturday to make up for the lack of stream on Friday. But, again, we will maybe have to play by ear. I guess I could stream earlier in the week. Yeah, we will see. We will see. And, so yes. So, as per the usual with update streams, irregular streams like this, I don't think we're going to wrap up with a wrap up with a raid or anything like that. Instead, I will simply bid you all farewell for the evening. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get the, er, well, no. Let us not get this raid underway. There's no raid. If you want to go watch someone else, do it, I guess, but I'm not raiding anyone. Anyway, have a nice night. Bye.